Sorry, guys. Just follow the plan, man. You don't need to do anything. Ah, uh, you want to cause problems here? They've grown since our first meeting. See. See. So this is the guy, huh? This is the first time I've actually seen him. Comrade S has already boarded the airship. I shall buy you the time to join her. Fine. I'll chalk this one up as my loss. But next time... Oh, next time, we'll have some real fun! <sighs> the last time. He doesn't let his guard down even for a second. But why the mask? Who are you, anyway? All the other ringleaders show their faces without a care in the world, but not you. Why is that? <laughs> You'll have to forgive me. I'm afraid I'm the shy sort. Or are you so enamored of the mask that you intend to take it from me by force? It would be quite a coup, especially for the daughter of Marquis Robner. <clears throat> Don't let your focus waver. If we want to walk away from this, we can't let up, even for a moment. <laughs> I wasn't planning on letting up. There's no way he can take all of us at once! Agreed. Even Instructor Sarah couldn't pull off a feat like that. Hmm. The odds do seem stacked against me. So I hope you'll permit me to even them ever so slightly. You got archaisms? Yeah. Why wouldn't you have archaisms? See? You Some motherfucker. Archaisms. Were they there all along? It was the height of summer when we last crossed blades in Kaido. Do you think you can prevail now where before you fell short? Tell me about the floors. It was steel. Alright. Alright, alright. We're fighting C. <laughs> Show me your strength, your will. Hey there. All right, calm down, buddy. Um, all right, let's do I did this. remember this fight. Okay. I intentionally used all my S breaks because okay. I wanted people to think we were done. So, <laughs> we do have one final fight with C in this chapter. So, get ready, motherfuckers, because I am wiped. <laughs> All right, let's do uh, Chrono Drive. Just gonna start buffing real hard. Yeah. Right. This one's probably gonna be a long one. Just, just warning you. Uh, what do I want to? Eh, just kidding. Especially with those motherfuckers. Oh great, I forgot about those though. <laughs> oh, this is actually the worst. Why'd I do this? Okay, I need to figure out what I'm doing. I need to I need to stop him. 
Okay, that's, that's right. done. Resigning Everyone. beats. Go. Oh, I don't want to waste it though. Shit. Didn't actually I use motivate? Did I waste it already? I don't remember. Ah, oh, shit. Um. All right, you know what? We're gonna be a cheater, little. We're gonna be a cheating little motherfucker. This one. That works. Yeah, I think I used it. Okay, well, I know now. Um, I want to get rid of these things real quick. Just fuck them. Get fucked. Yo, that burn. Okay. Can we try and, like, get rid of these? <laughs> Oh, this is gonna take a while, actually. Um... Yes, I can. And we're doing it. Which is going to take a while. He has 100,000 HP, so... <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, Elliot. Okay. I need to heal him right now. God. Okay, I did damage there, thankfully. <laughs> Get fucked. Okay. Here I go. Yeah. I'll pick you up. Ow. Okay. Oh what? Oh. Oh, it knocked him over. Cool. Um, I need to heal Reen. Real quick. Yeah. God, that attack sucks. Go. Now's a chance. Eat it. Right. Okay, what next? Um... Here I go. Now. Yeah, why not? I'm trying. You're saying that when you're on the ground, dude. <laughs> Fuck, he's so far away that I can't reach with anyone. I'll get fucked. Oh, fuck. 
Oh my god, that sucks. Okay. They're all down. Shit. That really sucks. That really just fucks me really hard. Oh my god, I'm dead. Super dead. Super dead. Holy shit. Um, let's retry that. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut this fight up. Oh, damn it. Oh, I forgot how fucking annoying this fight is. <sighs> Shit. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, baby. Oh, I'm loving it. Alright, one more time. I got an idea. And that impedes? That's so ridiculous. Oh no, it doesn't. Okay. Get rid of him. Alright. That's enough for me. I'm good. Alright, let's do this! Well, that was fucking fast. Okay. I didn't realize that was just going to go off and do it. Awesome. I'm glad he was just super fast. God, I'm blown through my items. It really sucks. Thanks. Time to shine. Okay, let's, let's get back to normal here. Now that we should be able to handle this. Please don't. Motherfucker. My turn. We're linked, right? Yeah. This looks bad. Holy this song. Is song <laughs> Thanks. My turn. I don't care anymore, so do that. Thank God. Too slow. Huh. How about this? Huh. Holy shit. Sweet Damn. That was actually a really fucking hard fight. <sighs> that took that took a couple tries, to say the least. Cause goddamn. You know, I, I was being honest when I said I, I know this fight's coming, I just decided to use them all so you guys wouldn't know. But that was the worst thing I've ever done because it fucked me hard. God damn. I'd use some Zerum powders. I don't like using Zerum powders. But like, I was getting fucked. That was hard, dude. Jesus. Most impressive. <sighs> How do you like that? Just paying back what we owe from the summer festival. Now hurry up and release the miners. The miners are being held in the area above us. They've been bound, but their lives are in no danger. Are you telling the truth? That does match what the other guy said. Well then, with that cleared up, let's talk about you, shall we? I hope you're not thinking you're just going to walk out of here after everything you've done. <laughs> I'm afraid that's exactly what I'm thinking.
Watch out, it's a feint! <gasps> Damn it! Too late. Ah! Ah! Thought his elbows! Don't freak out. It's just to disorient us. Shit, flash grenades. He's gone. <sighs> How could we have dropped the ball like that? We had him right there. Did he go to rejoin the others? <sighs> What's that sound? Oh, good. It's the airship we saw at Gorelia Fortress. Looks like Reinford's high-speed RF-26 model. So the Liberation Front has expensive taste in airships. Hey, Claire. It's the terrorists. Thanks for coming by. We're kind of in a shithole right now. <laughs> Take aim and fire. We totally do, actually. They, well, they do. What do you think you're doing? My, my. What a pathetic spectacle. And the Chancellor has sent his loyal lapdog to bark us up a tree, too. Go on and scurry back to your master, Icy Maiden, and tell him this. Our preparations are complete. Next time we strike, he shall be the one in the crosshairs. <gasps> ah! They're getting away! Damn! Uh, farewell, for now. You failed, but at least you can say you tried. And to you students, the next time our paths cross, you. Huh? What was that? It couldn't be. So, um, is he dead? Because <laughs> they just got super fucked. No, there was definitely a gunshot. No, they got fucked. Dude, shut up. God damn. No, there was a hundred percent- there was a hundred reasons to shoot them down. Are you fucking serious, dude? Get out of here. And that's her. <laughs> she kind of is allowed to. So, you can't really do anything about this, buddy. Ugh. 
I would have gotten away with it too if it wasn't for those metal kids. Hey man. Fuck off. <laughs> you know, I don't think we have anything to worry about considering uh, we have the daughter of your master here. So, uh... <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, boy. What do you got to say about that, motherfucker? Yeah, that would have been a great thing to ask, you know, so we could actually get some answers on that. Yeah, it really isn't. Sorry, guys. Marquis must be quite the sly businessman. To acquire ownership of a mine, I wasn't aware we were selling. Um... Alright. I know you have the Courageous, but like, how are you able to fucking do this, dude? He's everywhere. I recognize that voice. How could he be? Hey, Oliver. Oh, Crow! Dude. Prince Oliver! Nice timing. Crow! George! Thank goodness you're alright. Yeah, glad to see you guys are safe too. I heard things took a wild turn. That's an understatement, but yeah, kinda. You can say that again. I sure wouldn't have guessed at this outcome anyway. So that's the last of the terrorist airships accounted for, then? Hmm. That's enough out of you. We have more important matters to attend to right now. First, I feel it necessary to emphasize that I personally stand behind these students' course of action. I trust you have no objections. Thanks, Oliver. <laughs> I like how whenever we do something crazy, Oliver, it's just like, hey man, I got you. No worries. No one can touch you. I got your back. I'm like, fuck yeah, man. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> oh, your highness. We're saved. Secondly, I'll be assuming command here as a representative of the Arner family, owners of this mine. And as my first directive, I demand that the Provincial Army depart at once. The Railway Military Police will remain on the scene under my command to assist with my investigation. Thank God. I don't feel like... <laughs> I don't feel like Ragnar, like, remembered that, you know, the mine is part of the Arnor family. You know, they own the mine. So, um, you don't really have any say in the matter on this one. So, go fuck yourself. Yes, your highness.
After all the peril, the situation was resolved with surprising speed. The railway military police fulfilled their duties under the command of Prince Olivert. The remaining archaisms were disposed of, and the miners were rescued without significant injury. But the implications of what had just happened were profound, and the news was likely already beginning to spread. It was obvious that the provincial army had given their tacit approval to the terrorists' actions, and the terrorists had destroyed all evidence that the noble faction had been dumping iron onto the black market. But even lacking concrete evidence, their guilt seemed clear. And Prince Oliver declared he'd be conducting a thorough investigation with the full support of Chairman Irina. So the provincial army sucks. The end. <laughs> This must be it. No maker's trademark. No proprietary parts I could use to identify it. Not that I expected to find any. From all appearances, it seems to be a long-range anti-material sniper rifle. I see. At least it wasn't a Reinford model. That's correct. I suspect this is yet another of that workshop's products. <laughs> Their handicrafts do seem to be in vogue these days, especially with the Red Constellation. Indeed, but this is no laughing matter. And while I have you here, Miss Kruger, I've been hoping for the opportunity to have a little chat with you for quite some time now. Exactly how much involvement does your employer have in all of this? <laughs> Might I ask to which of them you're referring? <laughs> Let's go with both of them. My apologies. It seems we didn't clear this area as thoroughly as I thought. Lady Claire. It's an honor to see the famous Icy Maiden in action. You're quite the sight yourself. I see now why they call you the Severing Chains. <laughs> it was nothing. But to answer your earlier question, Chairman Arena has no involvement whatsoever. That said, I'm certain she'll leverage the current goings-on to her advantage as much as she's able. I'd expect no less. As for the other, I expect they're simply playing around. At least for now. I'm not gonna talk about that shit, cause that, that's, that is some shit right there. When I first saw that, I was like, what the fuck is Sharon doing? <laughs> God damn. That is the shit. I've got a little reward here for you. Alright, so we get Master Quartz. God, that fucking blew my mind for a little bit. That is a really good scene of just Sharon being like, hey, yeah, I'm not just working for Arena. I got I got someone else also. Keep up the good work. And she's also Really fucking strong. So Perfect. give me that the S. That's how you finish up a chapter, ladies ladies and gentlemen, because that is the shit. 
Man. Sharon is rad as fuck. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting some Link level up, so that's pretty good. Um, we can go ahead and save. This is the end of chapter 6, and luckily for you, I know this project has been going on for a very long time, so I'm sure many of you are like, ugh. Um, happy to tell you that that is the final proper chapter. Uh, we are now entering the epilogue. So, we're nearing the end, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting there. In the following weeks, it was hard to tell how much the Empire situation was shifting, but one thing was certain. Changes were happening. With the death of their ringleaders, the Imperial Liberation Front's campaign of terror was finally over. And in recognition of our actions in Ruhr and at Corellia Fortress, all of us in Class 7 were invited to Valflame Palace. There, we were granted the honor of an audience with His Majesty the Emperor, Eugent III, along with Empress Priscilla, the mother of Princess Alfin and Crown Prince Cedric. But no sooner had we been thanked than we came face to face with the leaders of the factions that divided the nation. The heads of the four great houses who rule their best provinces with absolute authority. And the Chancellor and his close ally, Governor Regnitz, who brought reforms to Heimdall and expanded the railways. Both sides were quick to offer us words of praise, but just as quickly turned to criticize each other's role in the crisis. Eventually, His Majesty was forced to step in and rebuke both sides, clearly disgusted by their behavior. As it stood, the terrorists' defeat made it difficult for their supposed supporters in the noble faction to act openly, while Crossbell's push for independence was causing enough of a stir over there to keep the reformists busy. With both sides tied up, it looked like the Empire was in for a long overdue respite from its perpetual conflict. We'd finally gotten all the details for our concert performance worked out, and Elliot announced that we'd be doing two songs, a duet between Machias and Eusis, and a solo by Emma. To no one's surprise, all three of them were quick to raise objections. But after Crow and Elliot explained their choices, and how their master plan would win over the audience, the rest of the class was totally on board, leaving our new vocalists to resign themselves to the inevitable. Unfortunately, with the good times came some sad news as well. It turned out that Marquis Rogner was furious at Angelica for her part in what we did at the mine, and as a result, she was forced to leave the academy. Contrary to the official statement, her withdrawal was to be permanent. Before she left, she asked me if I'd look after the Orbal bike for her. At first, I didn't want to. It felt like I'd be accepting that she'd be gone. But after thinking it over, I finally agreed. Man, I was really sad about this part, because Angelic is great. <sighs> With so much going on, we decided to take Prince Oliver up on his proposal of a brief vacation north in Ymir. It proved to be quite an eventful trip, and it really drove home just how much we'd come to mean to each other. I'd tell you all about it, but we'd be here for hours. Maybe another time. He'll never fucking explain that trip. They talk about that trip all the time, and you... You don't even know about it. 